So what I'm trying to do is get there to Fort William when there's spits and traffic and stuff. It's not that much on the way, but when they do come past, they're flying. So I'm about eight miles away. Um, must admit, I'm starting to feel tired now. Um, my legs feel okay. I just feel general fatigue at the minute. Um, so I'm going to head to Strontian and have two days there, I think. Uh, there's a nice campsite there for £6 a night. And the guy who runs the place is a, a big bike enthusiast and stuff. And uh, yeah, um, it's supposed to be nice there. Uh, nice and quiet and there's the local shop in Strontian so I can get some supplies maybe get a disposable barbecue and have some uh, sausage and uh, bacon sandwiches so so yeah and also in Strontian they do my favourite cake as well um, it's like an apple cake Nevis cake so yeah looking forward to uh, getting there so Strontian will be about 35 miles which is a fair distance, but I'm going to break it up again today, I think. Um, I'm not in any rush, so I'm kind of cycling for like 20 minutes, half an hour, then pulling over, taking pictures and that kind of thing. So, so yeah, um, see you later, people. So there's a cycling route, apparently, which goes into Fort William, according to McGarmin. So I've had a look on the map, it looks like it is the case. So I think I'm going to go down there and stuff. Uh, these roads are like long and straight and stuff and quite wide, but Look at this in a minute. They're flying past, so I'm going to go down here, I think, and see uh, see what happens. Go for a couple of miles, and if I'm going in the wrong direction, then I'll turn back. But it looks likely that it heads into Fort William. So, see you in a bit. So, this route is pretty damn good, actually. There's no cars at all. It's kind of like single track low, but look at the views I've got here. Fantastic. It's like you have the roads to yourself up here. I mean, we're in June, which is kind of like, wow, sort of holiday season. Which is fantastic. Just trying to work out where Ben Nevis is, which one it is. I don't think we've got it yet, so I don't know. because there's snow on the top I don't know we'll see <coughs> this is lovely let's see where this takes us I think that is Ben over there It. So, I've made it from Perth to Ben Nevis, just about, probably longer than I think to get to Fort William because it's twisty roads and stuff. It's got a nice descent down here, but yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, gravel. <laughs> there you go, so this is where we could live if we win the lottery, look at this. Purpose built, stables, and even better, a menage for you. Look at the views and like the hills and stuff in the background. So you have it. I know this. It's looking quite broody up there. It's raining a bit today. Uh, it's just spitting. It's warm though, which is okay. I've made it to Fort William. This is a, a big psychological game, this is. Yeah. There's a bit more civilization around here. What's this bike on the wall here? I don't know what it is. It's like a TT bike, isn't it? Fort William High School. Stopped in Fort William High Street for, uh, to get some food. Um, got myself a bacon sandwich. I'm living off these because <coughs> it's just quick and easy. I can go into like a bakery or something, keep an eye on the bike, and then uh, get some food. So I've probably done like 15 miles today, but it feels like about 40 to be honest. Um, 
just been enjoying the scenery and just taking it nice and steady. Um, I'm not in a rush today, so yeah, so I'm just trying to fuel up. <laughs> so I'm riding Alpha William onto up to the Cohen Ferry. Uh, it's about seven miles away, so I'm taking it nice and steady. Uh, the legs actually feel okay, it's really weird. But it's more the it's, it's more just a feeling of fatigue. Cohen Ferry. The water's really really calm. It's quite a nice day actually, it's not raining now. So I decided to leave my selfie stick on a bench uh, about 10 miles back there. Um, normally I'd go back and get something like that but to be honest I'm too knackered so I'm not going to bother. Um, it was £3 off eBay so I'll just have to do videos like this maybe. So yeah, fuck it. It's not a bad place to uh, have a stop. So I'm heading round the corner and to the end and then the ferry from the left side to the right hand side and then 15 miles. So, yeah. This is my favourite place in Scotland. There's a bunk house here as well. Never knew that. We were building it the last time we came up. We might check this out to see how much this is tonight. It's the camping. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe have one night here, one night in Stonton, I don't know. Uh, looks like I've missed the boat. Oh well, I didn't matter. Taking pictures, I think. Ah, there's no vacancies, so it looks like I'm camping. Ah oh, well. Just arrived at the campsite in Strontian. Uh, must admit, my legs feel pretty damn tired now. Um, the other day, I had an accident night, and look what I've decided to make. Check this out. So I've been chopping some wood, and this is what I've been doing the last few days. I've made my own cabin. So, not really, but it, it's basically the, the camping was eleven pounds a night or one of these is 15 a night so this is where I'm staying it's pretty damn sweet it's a bit of a bachelor pad <laughs> take a look at this so I've got storage for my helmet 
then when we go in here, look at this. So it's a cabin. So there's a pull out bed there, a nice sofa, nice blinds, and then two bunks. Electric sockets. Microwave. Table. And cut all these. This is like luxury compared to what I, what I have been doing. Nice coat hooks so I can dry my kit out. So I've got loads of wet stuff. A bit of a stag's horn. So yeah, I'm well happy with this. So um, I'm here for two days. It's absolutely fantastic. So it's a lovely campsite in Strontian, really off the area, yeah. um, and there's a barbecue too. So I can do some barbecue tomorrow. <laughs> this is really nice. It's even a reclining chair, so I think I need that slow. Tea and coffee. Well that didn't stay tidy for long. I've got my bike there. Maybe I could put the bike in one of the bunks because it's had a good beating the last kind of week. So maybe it wants a bit of a sleep. I don't know where I'm going to sleep. I think I'm going to sleep on the bottom bunk. I'm going to use this as like a sofa area I think. So this is all very nice. Um, I'm on the top bunk. There's no one below, and no one on there. Um, just thinking in prisons, is it like people on the top bunk are for daddy? So I guess I'm the daddy of the uh, cabin. Morning everyone, how's it going? So it is around, <coughs> excuse me, 7 o'clock. Woke up at about 6 o'clock, but... I was asleep by 10, so I had about 8 hours sleep, which is good. Really nice morning out there by the looks of it. Um, I might go for a little walk later on. Um, in the night, my left knee went a little bit funny. Um, the right outside bit, it's kind of like a band in the knee or something. Um, and it was quite painful. I couldn't move. If, if I was to move it too much, then I would have snapped something or pulled something. So I just generally moved it. Um, that was in my left one, which is the usual problem when I get it. Um, it's probably down to a bit of overtraining, to be honest, because I've done a lot of miles this week. Um, and my right knee started a little bit as well. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to go for a gentle walk just to stretch a little bit. Um, maybe do a few stretches today as well. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's a really nice day out there today. So, there's a pub probably about half a mile away, or like a, well, it's like a hotel with a bar, and it's got free Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi here is rubbish, it's not very good at all. Um, I have to sit outside the reception area, and it keeps dropping off, and the speed is lousy. So, I'm going to try the pub, um, and sit outside, there's a really, really nice view. So, I'm going to go there, get a lemonade or something like that, and uh, just sit there for a couple of hours, and catch up on what's going on in the world. So not really having any internet access and being off the grid a little bit, I don't really know what's going on in the world and I haven't really missed it too much. Um, don't really know any of the Euro 2016 scores really and I spoke to Sarah and I asked her for a quick recap and she mentioned about some terrorists in Orlando loads of football hooliganism in the Euros and that's about it so I don't know what's going on in the world and it's quite nice to actually disconnect to be honest um, because when I'm at home I am probably on the internet for about 10-11 hours a day so here it's 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 nice in a way I do miss not seeing what's going on in the world but um, most of it's dim and gloom anyway so it probably doesn't do people that much good anyway so I think I might stop watching the news a little bit when I go home um, and just look at stuff I'm interested in more. I'm not sure if to have a shave or not, I don't know, 
because if I have a shave, I'll feel a little bit cleaner and fresher. But then again, I said before I went, I wanted to see what I turned into. So I've got a picture before, so I want to see what happened. Also today, I need to change my cleats. My left cleat is absolutely destroyed. I've only had them on a week and I can't clip in. So maybe that could be the reason why my knee's a little bit troublesome because I'm resting my foot on the pedal. And especially when I'm carrying a lot of weight, I guess I need to be clipped in properly. Also want to check the tyres as well. The tyres seem a little bit low. Um, so I think they need pumping up a little bit because I dropped them down a bit for the off-road stuff. So I want some better rolling resistance on the roads now. Um, so yeah, going to do that today as well. And also eat as well. I went to the shop in Strontian. A uh, really good shop actually, and got loads of food. So I've got beans for my breakfast with bread. So I can't toast it, but that doesn't matter. I actually like doing this video diary because some days I could maybe go all day without speaking to anyone. So it allows me to talk. <laughs> so it'll be funny to look back on when I get home and edit it together and. I know there's some funny stuff going on um, in some of the earlier videos, so it'll be funny to look back in a few years' time. And hopefully, people who decide to do some wild camping and in the Highlands and Scotland and that kind of thing can look at these videos and uh, think, yeah, I'm going to go wild camping and also do some of the more organised stuff. So the idea was, so the idea of the trip was to um, do some wild camping and then do some more civilised kind of camping <laughs> where you're closer to society <laughs> so I've got a slight issue here um, my bike pump which is a new one which I bought before the trip has decided to break and I don't have a pump and I was doing the front tyres so I'm going to have to hunt around and see if I can find one somewhere um, I think there's a bike hire place somewhere around here Plus, the people who I got speaking to last night had some BMW uh, bikes, so I would assume that they've got a pump. So let's see if we can see if I can get myself out of trouble here. Phew! I've got a pump. <laughs> 